Hey gang, it's Ark. Today I'm going to show you how to get into Milton without doing any rope climbs. Um, I believe this is an undiscovered route. I could not find any evidence um, that anyone else had found this. Um, obviously it's easy enough to climb down or to uh, skip the climb down that rope into the climbing area. Uh, but then the rope climb up on the other side, um, as far as I can tell, has always been treated as a must. Now, there did used to be a route along the back wall here, um, but they added an invisible wall that blocks you off from being able to get into Milton if you do that. And the other route into Milton, obviously from the Muskeg, you just um, you come into the lower area and then there's two huge rope climbs that you have to go up. So that isn't a route that is often used just because of that. All right, I decided to show this uh, starting part. We're gonna go down in here just because there are many ways to get down in and a lot of them can involve taking a little bit of a fall if you're not careful. So I'm just gonna show the route that I use here. So after you cross the log, this is coming from Mystery Lake through the transition cave and then down the river. So you come across this log and then there's a little V-shaped depression here and you can just crouch and carefully make your way down here and you might take a little bit of a fall like right there I took a little bit of a fall but usually it's um not enough to hurt you and you can do that a bit more carefully than I did too to make sure you don't take that small fall all right so now that we're out on open ground we can just uh stand back up so that skips this climb down now to the new part of this route we're just going to run across to the other side. Now, this is also really useful. Um, if you aren't familiar with this area and you climbed down in here and you got stuck because you basically have to take a, a climb up there or a climb up here. Um, this is a way to get out of here. Oh, we scared a wolf off. Um, this will allow you to climb out of here even if you're exhausted and you don't have a bedroll. Also, there's a cave back there. I was going to point that out. Um, I think most people know about the, the cave in the climbing area. Um, other uses for this, if you have broken ribs, then traditionally the view has been that Mountain Town and by extension Hushed River Valley are just inaccessible to you since you can't climb um, unless you want to spend a stim to do this climb. This isn't a particularly long climb so just from the perspective of saving energy this skip probably isn't really that worth it. Um, another really good use for the skip though is if you have a if you um, have your base in the region and you have a lot of heavy stuff that you want to carry in you could um, bring it all in and bring it through here instead of having to take multiple trips up the rope. All right, so you come past the rope and you have to find a very specific height um, to do this from. So I'm gonna show you, you come down here. Oh, and yeah, you're gonna get sprains doing this. If you have the crampons, you might avoid them, but um, you're going to come down to essentially where you can see this big snow shelf, this big wide snow shelf out in front of you. And you want to keep that pretty far below you. And then you're just going to mountain goat across here. Now, it's best to stay crouched for the most part while you do this um, because it's harder to accidentally fall. You can see the uh, whole area down below us there, the lower part of mountain. There's the climb up, and then there's another climb up there that gets you to Paradise Meadows Farm, if you're coming in from that way. All right, so you come along here, you wanna stay just underneath this, and here you wanna maintain as much altitude as you can. So stay hugging the wall and stay as high as possible. And you have to take a pretty specific route through here, so make sure that you um, follow that route fairly precisely. Then here we're gonna, once again, get pushed down and follow along underneath here. We'll drop down to this ledge. And we're gonna do a similar thing here. Now there are ways to come along here where you end up much higher up. 
if you start out too high, you'll take a big fall. You'll be uh, forced to take a big fall. And if you start out too low, you'll either have to take a fall or you'll be um, too low to make it out here. So once we make it to this big wide ledge, we can stand up and walk for a bit. And make sure you don't fall off here. There's a few places here. I'm going to go ahead and crouch again for the rest of this trip. And from here on out, it's pretty much just uh, hug the wall, try to stay as high up as possible, um, just to make sure that you don't get pushed off. Make sure you turn in here. And I believe there's one spot up here where it could possibly push you off. So just make sure you're turned in when you go around here. And now we'll come around this corner. Now, once you reach this rock up here, you could probably just drop down to the snow there. But I'm going to stay turned in and just follow this uh, shelf in all the way. And there you have it. We actually only took one sprain on our wrist. I'm surprised that my ankles held up through that. Beautiful sunset to cap things off here. And so the farm is over that way. Um, the climbing area that we skipped is up there. So you could head around here and turn right if you wanted to get up there. The town is over there. And we're just out in the open. I'll just um, show you. You want to uh, be careful when you drop down here. Maybe take that route there. But uh, you have multiple ways to um, head into the region from here. So that is how you enter Mountain Town without doing any rope climbs. I hope this was helpful, and thanks for watching.